Hey guys, so today is a very exciting and special day because we are releasing 13 brand new activity tools. And so let me show you what they are. So the first one is an adding fractions tool. Then the other one is an addition pyramid tool. Then we have a jigsaw Sudoku tool, a compare fractions tool, sum search tool, the ultimate addition grid tool, math crosswords, adding fraction pies, thermometer tool, a ruler for measuring. Then we have an angle measurements tool, a really requested tool for a long time now, the Samurai Sudoku tool, and a Dudeco tool. As you guys know, Cleo and I have sold close to 200,000 books now since we started our Amazon KDP journey back in 2019. And activity books and puzzle books have been one of our biggest successful actions that we have done. So this is really close to our heart and a big passion of ours. So being able to share these tools with you is really exciting for us. And I just wanna show you the potential of these overall niches on Amazon. So if you look in amazon.com for activity books, obviously this is not a niche. I'm just showing you a keyword just so you can see how big it is. We can see that the demand is a nine and the 30 day search volume is 81,000. So it's obviously very, very high as you can see. And if you're looking at puzzle books here, we can also see that demand is a nine and the 30 day search volume is 74,000 for this keyword. And if you're looking at a little bit more niche down, but still not enough, we can see that activity book for kids has a demand score of eight and the 30 day search volume is 55,000. I'm just gonna show you a few more examples just so you can get some excitement and see the overall opportunity. So looking at activity book for adults, we can see that the demand score is a six and the 30 day search volume is 6,195. So it's getting a little bit more niche down, a little bit lower in search volume, but that's exactly what you want to do. You want to niche down when creating books and finding niches. And in case you're wondering, these tools you're looking at right now, the top one is the Titans Quick View. And then this new tool right here is called Titans Deep View. So if you're interested in those tools, feel free to check that out. But obviously when finding a niche, you want to make sure that you're happy with the search results, you're happy with the demand and opportunity scores if you like using those, as well as the average bestseller rank the reviews and the prices. But then here, one thing that is now really useful that we like using ourselves is making sure that there's books on the first page on Amazon that are not too competitive looking. And one of the easiest ways to establish that is by looking at the reviews. So if there's quite a few books with 50 reviews or less, that just shows you that it's not fully saturated and some of the books might still be new on page one. And then even better, what you really want to find is books that have less than five reviews because those books are going to be fairly new. And if other people can rank on page one, having just launched, then why not you too? but obviously don't pick the biggest niches, niche down, and then work your way into bigger niches slowly as you go. All right, so let's just look at a few more examples. So if you look at Sudoku books, we can see that the demand is still a six, which is still not bad. And the 30 day search volume is almost 7,000. And also just to remind you, this is just in the USA. Obviously we have Canada, we have UK, Australia and other markets too. But Amazon USA is obviously the biggest. Of course, we have other markets like Germany, Italy, Spain, France, and things like that. But I'm just showing you the English markets. And then also now this release has a lot of math related activities. So maybe you also want to look at the math workbooks. Obviously, I just want to remind you just once again that these keywords I'm showing you now, I'm not telling you that these are the niches to go for. I'm just showing you keywords. And then your job would be to find niches within these big ones, okay? But here we can look at math workbooks and the demand is a seven and the monthly search volume is 11,000. And here, if you just scroll down, we can just look at some examples. So we can just see that this workbook on the right here has a BSR of 8,000. This one has a bestseller rank of under 2,000. This one has a BSR of 500. So if you want to see the sales history of a book, you can also click on this chart icon here, and then it will bring up a chart that shows you the bestseller rank, the price and the review counts all in the same place. And you can click on different time frames. So here, for example, we can see the last year and we can see that throughout the year it does actually quite well, but there's different time periods throughout the year when it starts selling a lot more. And obviously as the bestseller rank goes down, that just means that the book is selling more and more. And when the bestseller rank goes higher, that means it's selling less. 
So this is just a new feature you might not be aware of as well. And then here also we can see that we now show you sales estimates for daily sales as well as 30 day sales. And this will be on all products except ads. But if you want to, you can also turn that on in the settings. And then I just want to show you one more thing. So if you scroll down here, sometimes you can see that Amazon tells you how many sales a product has had. So here you can see that Amazon is telling us that this book has sold 900 times or 900 plus times in the last month. And our estimates was that it has sold 1,100 times. So our estimates are not perfect, but as you can see, they can get very, very close. And from our testing and experience, our estimates are much more accurate than some of the competition. So that's something we're also quite happy with and it's taken us a lot of work and a lot of time to get those results. So the last thing I want to show you before we dive into each of the new tools where I show you the settings work and how you can use them. I just want to show you our uh, niche finding tool called Titans Pro. We'll do that with activity books. And this is Titans Pro is one of our Chrome extensions and it is our number one most popular tool. And once you install the Chrome extension, all you need to do is type into the Amazon search bar. And then sometimes you have to enter in a space and then this window will pop up. And here you will see suggestions in two different columns. And these suggestions are all from Amazon themselves. These are not our suggestions and not our keywords. And there's nothing random we add into the mix. These are pure keywords from Amazon themselves. And all we do with our tool is add the monthly estimated search volume for each of these keywords, as well as show you the search results for each of these keywords. And then our popular demand and opportunity scores, just to make it even easier for you to analyze each of these niches without even looking at the search results. But obviously we want to encourage you to always look at each niche in more detail. But as you can see, there's lots and lots and lots of suggestions here. So this will make it super easy and kind of fun to find niches and get creative ideas of what kind of books you can make. So yeah, so this is using these tools. This is what Cleo and I do to find good niches and to create books. And if you want to, you're totally free to use them. A lot of our tools come with free versions and then optional upgraded versions, but this is totally up to you. All right, so now for the exciting part, let's go into each of these tools and then I'll show you how they work. So we'll start with the adding fractions tool and you will see um, each of them will have how to play instructions in case you feel a little bit unfamiliar. So here on the right side, you can see all of the settings. So, so here you can choose the difficulty that you want for the, the game. And then whenever you want to see a sample, you just click on generate sample. So if you want to see very easy versus extreme, you can click on that. And then the other thing here, you can also click on the solutions where you can see what the actual results look like. All right, so then the other thing you can do is number of fractions. So if you want only two, then you can see now it will only give you two instead of three. And if you don't want negative fractions, you can get rid of that. And you can also choose to have only 16 per page or 24. This is totally up to you. And then as soon as you find something you're happy with, you can either click generate board data, or if you want more of the same setting, you just select how many you want and it'll make that. That is just the basics. All right, so now to show you the next one, the adding pyramid, let's go ahead and click on that. So once again, you'll find the same layout. You'll see the how to use, how to play, and then you can click on generate sample. And here you also have the solutions. So this math pyramid tool, is actually really fun and I think people will really enjoy doing it. And then here you also have the options of very easy, easy, medium, hard, very hard and extreme. So we can look at an extreme one. So as you can see, there's less numbers filled out. So this will get very hard to do. Yeah, and just in case you're curious what this is, this is basically an addition game. So if you just look at here, you have the number 122. So 63 plus 59 is 122. So this is how you work it upwards and backwards to fill in the empty squares. And then you can obviously see the solution. And in here, so you also have different settings. So you can choose the board size being four to make it smaller or nine would be the biggest. All right, so then here you can change the value. And this is basically the starting value that is on the bottom row. So right now we have it set to 10. So if you look at the bottom row here, all the numbers are 10 or lower, but we can also increase the numbers to go as high as 30. And so as you can see, now we have 27, you know, 19, 13, stuff like that. And then you can also choose a minimum value if you want to, this is totally up to you. So once again, super easy settings, very straightforward. And each time you change a setting, you're going to see it, just click on the generate sample button and it will make a new sample. And then once you're happy with it, once again, just choose how many you want to create and then click on the generate board data 
and it will create them for you. All right, so let's look at the next one. So we have the Jigsaw Sudoku, and then same thing, click on Generate Sample, and then here you can see what it looks like. If you want to see a solution, you can click on that. And then here you can just click on the regions, what you want it basically to look like, and you'll see the differences. And then you can choose on not having a border, if you don't want one on the outsides, or yes. And then here you can choose alphabet, if you wanted letters instead of numbers, or even clip art. That is totally up to you. And then you can also have rounded corners just for a slightly different design. And then you just keep working your settings until you're happy with it and then generate the board data. So that's basically this one. All right, so now we have the compare fractions. I'll show you that one quickly. So you're gonna start seeing that all of this is designed really to make it really user-friendly and really easy and there's nothing you can really do to mess anything up because the the sample is always on the left and the settings are always on the right and it's very simple, very straightforward. And if you're not sure what something is, you can always change it and click on generate sample to then see the difference. And sometimes looking at the solution makes it even more obvious what settings are changing. But this is the compare fractions. So here the user basically just needs to find whatever fractions is the biggest one. Yeah, so same thing, you can just choose whatever settings you want. And if you want, you can actually choose the lowest instead of the highest. So here a person needs to find the smaller fractions and not the biggest ones. So this is totally up to you. You can do one or the other or both. All right, so I'll show you the next tool. All right, so here we have the sum search. And as some of you might be familiar, we have another tool called number search and word search. And this is a bit similar to that. The only difference being is that the user will have to find exact numbers through adding them up. So here we can see on the right side here, we have a target sum of number eight. So the player will have to look on this grid and find numbers that all add up equal eight. So if we look here, we can see two and six, that would create eight and then six and two would also create eight or one and seven or five and three. So all of these would be the solution. And what the person would see is just an empty grid like that. So you can choose different numbers. All right, so you can also choose different board sizes. So if you wanna choose size 10, you can see it's much bigger. You can also choose a really small one to make it easier potentially. You can choose a di different depth. You can change the board shape, also make it rounded corners. And here you can also change the color if you wanted to, make a colored book. And just keep working the settings until you're happy and then create as many as you want. All of our tools are unlimited use for lifetime if you get the lifetime version. So you can take your time. All right, so next tool we have is the Ultimate Edition Grid. So this is also a great game. And, and if you're not sure how to play it, just go back and look at the instructions on how to play. But here, once again, you can choose different grid board sizes to make them bigger or to make it smaller. And then here you can also change the colors if you wanted to. So that is totally all within your creativity. All right, I'll show you the next one now. So then we have math crosswords. So this is, I think, going to be a really popular tool. So instead of a word crosswords, you can do number crosswords. And I'll show you the solution here. And this will be great, not only for kids, but also for adults. And then here you can choose the number of equations. You can choose different numbers. So if we choose 30, for example, we can see that it gets really, really big. And if we choose smaller, then it becomes smaller. And then here you can choose if you want division or not. So if you don't want division, make it a little bit easier, we can do that. If you don't want multiplication, we can get rid of that. And we can do the same thing with subtractions. So if you only want addition, then it will be really easy. And when, once you find the settings you like, just create however many you want to do, and that'll be that. Um, all right, so moving right along, we have the addition fractions. This is a fun one. So here we can see that the person needs to add up each of the fractions to come up with the answer. And all of these will be less than the total of one for this game. And here, if you want number of fractions, we can change that to three to make it slightly harder. And then here you can choose how many you want per page. So maybe you want a little bit less. And then here you can also change the color of the pies yeah, so it's really simple game, but really useful for kids to get to learn fractions. And this is also, at least to me personally, a rather fun activity that I can see people enjoying. And once you have the settings you like, just create however many you want to create. And then that's basically it. So going to the next one, we have the thermometer. So this is great to help people counting different temperatures. Here you just create different examples, different heat levels and you can choose celsius and then soon fahrenheit as well and then you can choose different ranges of how high or cold you want it to be and then you can also change the color so if you wanted a blue for example you can also do that and then once you have the settings you want then you just click on the generate board data 
All right, so next we have a ruling tool. This is also good for kids to learn how to count and learn the ruler and to make the measurements. So here we have it set in centimeters. So you can choose what kind of range you want. All right, yeah, and then units, we also have inches coming soon. That will include it for free, but right now we have centimeter. And then here you can also change the color if you wanted to. Let's say you want maybe a yellow. You can just click on join a sample and then the the bar will be changed. And here in the solution, you will see the correct answer for each of them. So you can include that in the back of the book. All right, so moving on to the next one, we have a angle measurement tool. I think this one will also be really fun for a lot of you to use. So we can look at the solution. We can see 52 degrees and obviously each sample you make will be different. And you can also choose to show degrees. So if you want to make it a little bit easier for the person, then you can do that. So let's, let me show you the next one. So Samurai Sudoku, this is one of the most requested tools that we've had from our existing puzzle users. So I think a lot of people were really excited to be able to take advantage of that if they get the second bundle now. So Samurai Sudoku is basically Sudoku on steroids. And instead of one Sudoku grid, you have five grids all mixed in one. I'll just show you a solution here. You can see all of the numbers. So it's exactly the same as a normal Sudoku, just five Sudokus built into one. And then here you can choose different difficulties. So if you want to make it harder, there'll be less numbers and it'll be a lot harder to solve. And then here, once again, you can choose to do it in letters, which would be even harder, or you can choose lowercase letters or clip art. So you can choose whatever you want or mix it up. This is totally up to you. And once you have the settings, same thing, choose how many you want to create, 100 or 10 or 20, totally up to you. And then click on generate board data and it will do that for you. All right, so next one is Dudeku. And this is another form of Sudoku. And this is mixed with numbers and letters mixed in one. And you'll see the size of the grid is slightly different than a normal Sudoku. So each of the smaller squares is uh, four by three. So I'm gonna show you a solution, what it looks like. Click on a few samples. And then here you can choose different difficulty levels. And I'll just quickly show you that. So this is what easy looks like. Most of them are filled in. And if you look at hard, a lot less will be filled in. All right. And then here you can also change the color. I'll just quickly show you that. So this is for the solutions. So if you want to make the solutions easier to see in the back of the book, then you can do that. And yeah, so that's basically it. So these are all of the 13 brand new tools. So right now you're going to get 13 tools for only $99. So it works out to be less than $8 per tool. And this is by far the cheapest out of any website that has any puzzle tools available. So it's a complete steal. We're really trying to make this as affordable to everyone as possible. And yeah, so during the launch, it'll be only $99. And then after the launch, it will go up to $199. And even that will be a steal. I mean, most places don't even sell puzzle tools for lifetime. And if they do, sometimes one tool is at least $100 or more. So we're really trying to be fair and really make it as affordable for you guys as possible. And we're really here to help you as and the entire KDB community. So yeah, I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me on our chat app on our website on selfpublishingtitans.com. And I hope you take advantage of this tool and this special. And yeah, I look forward to helping you more on your KDP journey. All right, so that's it for now and talk to you soon. Bye.